This episode's going to be an interesting one. I'm going to answer a popular user question that you have of me. That being, what do you do with the money that you make from Atlas Earth? Well, I thought about it for quite a while and I'm, I came up with an answer. I'm going to demonstrate that by removing uh, more than 100 US dollars I've earned from Atlas Earth from the game. And I'm going to demonstrate what I'm going to do with it that's going to earn me more than 4% return on it. If this sounds interesting to you, please stand by. <laughs> Hey, all you Atlas Earthlings, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here saying, hey, thanks for dropping by. I do appreciate your time. And also remember, if you like to get this kind of news, updates, uh, Atlas Earth strategies, um, and updates whenever I put out new videos, please consider uh, liking, subscribing, and hitting that bell uh, so you can get, uh, you know, get alerted whenever I put out new videos. Okay, with that said, uh, one of the big questions people have had of me since I've started doing Atlas Earth coverage is, hey, what do you do with the rent money that you actually make in Atlas Earth? And frankly, I, I did one small withdrawal right at the beginning, like after I've been playing for about a month or something like that, just to prove that it worked. And I put it in a video and everything. But since then, I've just been kind of letting it ride. I, I figured, well, um, one of the things in the back of my head is uh, taxes. And I don't know necessarily how we're going to handle uh, the Atlas Earth as far as, uh, and I'm still I'm speaking from a U.S. perspective here, um, but anytime you make money or you withdraw money, you create what's what's called a taxable event. And I'm not a tax lawyer. Um, uh, there's probably, uh, I mean, doing taxes is right up there with getting teeth pulled out for me. Uh, I just abhor it, but I want to like uh, not have to go through a tax audit and possibly go to jail. So um, in the back of my mind, I was thinking... Um, if I started to do a bunch of withdrawals from Atlas Earth, there's some people on one side of the scale that that withdraw every five dollars. That is a lot to keep track of. So I thought, well, I'll just let it ride for a while and I'll get a, a larger amount. Then I'll do a withdrawal and that will create one event, you know, every so many months. OK, that that was my reasoning. So it's about seven months in and I have. Um, about $125 to withdraw at this point, okay? Uh, and uh, I'm gonna do that later on and we're gonna show uh, what my idea was, which wasn't uh, an original because I've had several viewers on my live streams and stuff like that talk about it over the months, but I just got into it. And what really forced me into actually looking into it was this last video I did where I investigated the Atlas Earth terms of service around deactivating accounts that were not being used. And uh, the takeaway was kind of a little bit cloudy, okay, because the statement was, well, you have to have at least uh, one withdrawal per year and or, um, you know, account action, like buying parcels and stuff like that. So I don't know if you need one of each or just one to be considered active, but I'm going to err on the safe side and say that from a personal perspective, I'm going to withdraw funds at least once per year. Now, maybe a little bit more uh, often just to you know show account activity and everything. But before we do that, if you're relatively new to the game or uh, you're brand new to the game, you were just searching around YouTube for play to earn games, a way to make a little bit of money on the side, I would consider Atlas Earth. Like I said, I've been playing for seven months now. I've made about $130 to $135. So um, I consider it uh, and it's been fun. So it's been an interesting ride and I've, I've been uh, able to do some YouTube stuff on it. So I've had fun. So uh, if you uh, check out a few other of my videos. I've got a link in the show notes as well as I'll post it at the very end of this video that you can go right into. And it, it's a video that will tell you all about Atlas Earth, how to make money, um, etc. Um, and if after that you feel like you want to start playing Atlas Earth, please use my referral code in the show notes. And that will get you, uh, whenever you get to your 11th parcel, by the time you hit your 11th parcel in that 10th or 11th parcel time frame, you will get uh, 200 free Atlas bucks, which is enough to buy two more parcels or one badge, depending upon which one you want at that point. Um, and I get 100 out of it as well. So it's a win-win proposition and you end up getting twice as much. But it does help me out and all my viewers who have used uh, the code over, over the last seven months, uh, it's definitely helped me out. So I appreciate it. 
Now, okay, on here we are show. on my phone, and you can see at the top I have a little bit over $127 to redeem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redeem this, um, and where I'm going to go is to PayPal. So let's take a look at, um, it's just paypal.com. You have to have a PayPal account, obviously. Um, and if you click on the number up there, uh, you bring up the accrued uh, income screen. And what we're gonna do is click on the redeem now button. And I'm going to keep a timer uh, because another popular question um, is how long do, whenever you go to remove money, how long does it take? Now, whenever I uh, did this back in June, my first uh, removal of $5, it was almost instantaneous. It was like less than two minutes. So what I'm gonna do, since this is a much larger amount, I am filming this film clip and I'm going to keep the amount of time and I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna record how much time it takes to go uh, into my PayPal. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and hit redeem now. And we are going to go in with $125. And then we're going to click next. And of course, we can't get crypto or stocks yet. Uh, it's always been coming soon. Let's go ahead and get cash. And then we are going to confirm. And then it has a list of options. I could go with prepaid Visa cards. I could go with Amazon cards, Starbucks, uh, more than 100 different uh, other gift cards available. I could even donate to some charities. Uh, under ACH, I could transfer it directly to my bank account if I wanted to, but in this case, or Venmo, uh, but, and these options are gonna be different depending upon what country you live in, um, because all kinds of different finance laws uh, are uh, applicable to do with that, is not overly complicated, but PayPal, uh, at least here in the United States, offers what's called PayPal savings. And at this point, um, they, uh, this is like a savings account. Uh, you can put money into your PayPal account and then allocate it to the savings and you can earn 4.3% on it, which is a good return, especially for a, like a regular savings account in a bank. Um, and I'm using screenshots because my PayPal account uh, page has some personal information on it that I don't want to divulge, but this is the section of the page that you're looking for. And you can see that currently I have zero, uh, in my PayPal savings. Next up, when you select add money to your PayPal savings, it gives you this, uh, page and you have to select either go from your bank or I selected from my PayPal balance because I want to put the $125 into savings. And then it gives you a note that says you'll see your money in your PayPal sa savings right away. If it's after 5 p.m. Eastern time, you'll start earning interest tomorrow. So it's before 5 p.m. Uh, Eastern here today. So let's go ahead and add money. And I've added $125. And uh, there it goes. Uh, savings has its own separate page. Uh, so you can see that I now have $125 in my PayPal savings, which will be entering, uh, getting me 4.3% interest, which isn't too shabby. And uh, from here, what I plan to do is since my PayPal is, uh, account is connected to my bank account, if I make any actions, uh, if I spend any of this money in Atlas Earth, say for instance, to go to the uh, premium version of the challenges or to go ahead and do the Explorer Club, what I'll do is just remove that amount from this savings so I can keep an accurate, accurate tabulization of what I've made off of Atlas Earth. Um, because I do consider now that any money I've made off of playing Atlas Earth can be basically rolled back into the game to help me out. So uh, stay tuned for a further episode on what I'm going to do on that front. But, uh, you know, uh, I thought this is a pretty simple thing. Thanks to everybody who brought up this idea to me. Um, I do appreciate it. If you watched my uh, last video about buying a bunch of parcels, you know I made a big land move this month uh, and I bought a bunch of parcels and did actually three tier jumps in a row. So check out that video on my, uh, on my channel if you haven't seen it. It was pretty cool and I'm saving up for my next. So this is Bronze Dragon here in the United States. It's Thanksgiving week. Uh, I wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving week and overall everybody worldwide, I hope your family is happy and healthy and hey, you know, take a minute to uh, be thankful for what you have in this life. So this has been Bronze Dragon and I will see you in Atlas Earth. Thank you.